right, good morning, everyone. Um, so I'm at Winding Stair Gap right now. I've already hiked from Rock Gap to Winding Stair Gap this morning. Um, there's a lot of traffic here and it's windy, so I'll be right back. waterfall this morning. It looks like this was recently a burn zone. Whew, you can smell it too. All right, so sorry about that, y'all. Um, so this morning, Josh dropped me off at Rock Gap, which is where I got off yesterday. And also, I'm walking uphill right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the out of breathness. Yeah, yeah, out of breath anyways. So I knocked out those three and a half miles from Rock Gap to Winding Stair Gap pretty quickly this morning. I was walking with one of my friends, so that always makes the time go fast. So yesterday in Franklin, um, when we got into town, we went to breakfast and then we went to Outdoor 76. Most of you know that I've been having problems with some blisters on the bottom of my feet, but more recently my right foot has been like hurting, hurting, um, which was getting kind of concerning to me. The topos that I was wearing um, there really wasn't much to them. I pretty much was feeling every single rock under my foot. They're pretty thin, not super cushiony. Oh, tripped. And they also didn't have a rock plate, so pretty much feeling everything, and um, that was putting a lot of pressure on my foot. I wanted those shoes to last me for a while. I mean, I've had them for, um, since like last fall. I, I at least wanted to get through the Smokies with them, um, but I made the decision to go ahead and get new shoes because I just, I don't think they had enough support. So here's what I ended up with. These are the Brooks Caldera. Um, they're super fancy. Love the color. As y'all can see, they're also a lot more padded, but um, not, not ridiculously. Last year for a long time on my hike, I hiked in um, Brooks Cascadias. So I really do like the way that Brooks feel on my feet. The Brooks Cascadia was a little bit stiff for me and there were times when I wished that um, they had more cushion. So I'm thinking that this Caldera might be the perfect shoe for me, but we'll find out. <laughs> Something else that's kind of interesting about them is normally for a hiking shoe, I go for a nine and a half, even though I think my foot measures at like eight and a half for regular shoes. Well, these are actually a size 10, so they are a little bit big. This morning I did notice my foot sliding around a little bit, um, but I stopped at Winding Stair Gap and did the heel lock lacing, and that's made a huge difference, so hopefully I don't have any problems with that. So yeah, excited to try out these new shoes. Um, like I said yesterday, only did I think 3.8 miles. That ended up turning out to be a really good idea because when I got home last night, um, I realized like just how sore my foot actually was and that I needed to rest a little bit. Also got the chance to charge up one of my battery banks. So should have enough power to get to NFC. And I also got some videos scheduled for y'all, so won't have to worry about that either. Also, I thought the weather was gonna be so nasty today. Like just cold rain and it's kind of chilly. I think it's in the 40s, but the sun is coming out, so that's really cool. So I'm making the climb up Siler Bald now. Um, I did not take the like 0.2 mile side trail to the top last year. So this year I'm gonna do it. It's a pretty day. I wanna see what's up there and I think that'll be a really good spot to take a break.
Okay, this trail is a lot steeper and longer than expected. But look at the view so far. So pretty. And that down there is where I came from. and windy up here. Whew, I almost need gloves today because it is chilly. Um, tonight it's supposed to be like high 20s with wind so it's gonna be a cold one. So tonight I'm heading to um, just a little campsite called uh, like Wine Spring and Camp or something like that. Right now I'm about 3.8 miles away. Um, have a little bit of downhill and then lots of uphill so that's gonna be fun. So update on my feet. Um, they're feeling pretty good. So they are a little bit sore from the new shoes and I think it's just because it's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment, but there's not any specific part of my foot that's like in pain. And the spot that was hurting a couple days ago is no longer hurting, so that's really good. I do think they might be like slightly too big for my feet right now. Um, I'm sure my feet will probably get bigger the longer I hike. But as long as I do that heel lock and tie them super tight and then just kind of like be careful when I'm going on like steep declines, I should be fine. So I have a feeling right now that we're going downhill here and I'm guessing those big mountains are the ones that we're about to climb and that's where I'm camping tonight. Just made it to some unknown gap. I could not read that. Whew, slowly getting up this mountain. Pretty steep. That's where I came from. so cold but this oatmeal is delicious um but anyways i'm about to call it a night